Well, hello there, random viewer. Welcome back. I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to my Illness and Injury Guide Part 2, Cholera Symptoms, Prevention, and Treatments. Yes, even though your survivor won the genetic lottery and is immune to the plague that ravaged the entire planet into biblical levels of disease, death, and reanimation, you still can't seem to drink from any non-chlorinated water sources without contracting one of the most lethal pathogens in recorded history. Cholera is contracted by imbibing from unpurified sources of water such as ponds, streams, wells, fountains, and some looted water bottles, pots, and canteens. Still or stagnant water has a higher chance of transmitting the disease to your character, but no water source is safer than the next. Now that we know where the contamination manifests, let's discuss symptoms. The most noticeable symptomatic effect of cholera is vomiting. Your character will puke immediately upon drinking contaminated water and after eating once the disease is contracted, emptying your stomach completely of food and fluids, thus reducing you to a state of extreme hunger and rapidly declining hydration and health. The best method of circumvention is to find yourself a pack of these chlorine water purification tablets to cleanse your drinking water. These tablets spawn in medical facilities, inside cabins and lodges at campsites, inside these feed shacks, and on hunting stands. To purify drinking water, fill a container such as a canteen, pot, or plastic bottle with water by taking it to your hands and looking at the water source. After you've collected the water, keep the container in your hands and drag your chlorine tablets to the container. You will receive the prompt to purify the water. One tablet is enough to completely disinfect the collected water. As of now, boiling water does not render it safe for consumption. Before we peruse possible treatments, let's discuss your immune system. Your level of immunity is based upon the combined effects of all five stats, hydration, hunger, temperature, blood volume, and health. It is imperative that you keep these stats as high as possible to help prevent contracting any of the illnesses Chinaris has to offer. Many conditions will be overcome in time without the need for medicines if your status bar is maintained responsibly. Another efficient method of boosting your immune system is with vitamins, which can be found all over the map gathering dust. Pop one, wait for the buff to expire, then pop another, and so on. Medication buffs including antibiotics, vitamins, charcoal tabs, and painkillers do not stack. You'll just waste your valuable supply of remedies. Ignore whatever those fat streamers told you, they're wrong. Leave the Fruit Loop vape clouds to those goofballs and the tutorials to daddy. You're starving, you're dehydrated. You're dry heaving so hard that your balls are inside of you. I know you want to feed your character a bullet, but let's feed him medicines instead. The only known cure for cholera are tetracycline antibiotics, which spawn in hospitals, clinics, and at campsites. These will slowly kill the germ. Consume one antibiotic and try to burn as little calories as possible. Tetracycline's effects last for about five minutes. If the medication buff wears off before the illness dissipates, pop another antibiotic. The trick to soothe vomiting is to diligently consume small amounts of food at a time. The goal is to keep your food level in the yellow. As soon as your food level becomes white, you will regurgitate everything you've eaten and drank. Sip drinks and nibble foods to nurse yourself back to health. It's a slow process. Be patient. And lastly, as boring and uneventful as it is, pick a safe space and wait out the sickness. When the germ icon goes away, you're safe to eat and drink as much as you need to refill your stomach. Just make sure your hands are clean for fuck's sake. If you found this video video helpful and I sincerely hope that you did, please consider giving my channel a sub and I want to send out a very special thank you to all of my subscribers. You have no idea how much of a motivation you all are for me to continue to make these guides. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, feel free to comment below or come and see me on Twitch. And until then, I'm Archie Stormcloud and I'll see you in Chinaris.